We're going to be making a bell out of clay. So let's get started. We get a big piece of clay like this, and we're going to basically wad it up into sort of a ball shape. And now we want to make a cone shape out of this. So you can tap it on the table so that it gets flat on one side, and you can just kind of squeeze it a little bit and rotate it as you go around and around it becomes a little bit more cone shaped tap tap squeeze and rotate that rotate means you go around in a circle now this looks a little bit cone shaped if you want to work on it and make it a little bit more cone shaped you can lay it down on the side like this and you can roll it like this and you can apply a little bit more pressure to the narrow side a little bit less pressure to the outside and you can get it to be a little bit more cone shaped and that kind of smooths it out a little too if you have cracks or lumps or bumps you can just erase those with your finger it doesn't have to be perfect though because we're going to be um, changing this a lot as we go so now we have a nice little cone shape and you can see that's similar to the bell shape and similar to this bell shape but this one is hollow inside so we need to hollow this out so that it is sort of empty inside so that we can attach the clapper so it will ring. So what you can do is hold it in your hand like this and then put your thumb right in the middle and push it up, not all the way through, but up towards the middle of the top like this. And when you do that, it gets a little bit misshapen and that's totally fine. Don't worry about that at all. So now it has a hole in it and you can see if you com can compare these that one of the holes is small and one is wide. What we want to do is make this hole wider and make the edges thinner. So we're going to be doing sort of a lobster claw um, pinch like this. Very gentle pinch though. So we'll put our thumb back in and we'll my thumb is all the way in as far as it will go, up to about here is where the top of my thumb is, maybe there. So pinch on the outside with my fingers here and then turn and pinch and turn and pinch and turn as it rotates. I can pinch all around on every side and you can see the hole is starting to open up and the sides are starting to get narrower. So you can continue pinching and turning. Now what you want to happen is the edges to all be the same amount of um, width. So if you find one spot that's lumpy, you want to put your fingers there and give that part a pinch. Pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And some of this, you have to feel it with your hands and you can't see how thick it is. You can just feel how thick it is and you feel those thicker spots and those are the parts that you pinch. So I'm pinching and turning and pinching and turning and I want this to be sort of thin. I want it to be about as thin as my pinky is wide. So about that thin. So I'm going to feel it way up here all the way around and see if it's the same thinness. Oh, I felt, felt a thick spot so that's the part I want to work on and make that a little thinner. Now I'm going to move my fingers down and my thumb down a little and work on the middle and go around and around. That's good. And now I want to work down here at the bottom. You can see it's starting to get more and more um, even and less lumpy. And so now it's very uniform, which means it's all almost the same all the way around and that's exactly what we want. So that's a good little bell shape and I can smooth it out on the outside and that looks really good. Okay, next we can work on a handle. Well, actually we have to work on the little thing that's gonna hold the clapper inside and we're going to be attaching a little ring to the inside so that we have a thing to hang that little clapper on. Now, before we go on to that step, I need to check your work. I need to check it and make sure the opening is big enough so that we can put that little clapper inside. So what I want you to do is before you attach that ring on the inside for your clapper, you need to check with me and make sure that the inside is big enough and that the walls are thin enough so it will ring properly. So once I check it for you, then you'll be able to go on and attach 
the ring on the inside. And here's what we need to do when we attach this. We need to score it with the pin tool. So we've got this little sharp tool, and we wanna scratch the inside so it looks scratchy like Velcro. So I'm gonna move this up so you can really see it. See, it's a little bit scratchy inside there. We need to scratch it inside so that it's rough. And then we're gonna take this stuff that's called slip and it's clay mixed with water so that it's like paste. And I'm gonna dip my ring, just the edge of it into the slip so it's just got a little bit of pasty kind of stuff on it. And I'm gonna put it right on that scratched part inside. Now this part is a little bit tricky. We have to get our finger inside that little ring and push it in so that it gets stuck. Push it in like that there we go so now the ring you can see is in there and it's stuck in okay next is the time to work on the handle and you can make your handle look any way you want i have an example here where i made a little s spiral but you can make yours any way you like you can make it like this you can make a little hole in the handle you can make your handle any way you choose so you have a lot of options i have one right here that looks like this you can make a handle like that can make one that looks like this which is the same as this and you just put a hole in it there's so many ways you can make this unique and make it your own if you want to do this style all you do is the top of your cone you just kind of give it a little bit of a pinch and flatten it out until you get the shape that you like and then you can use the handle from your pin tool and push it through and give it a little rotation around and that will make a nice little handle for your clay you can see that looks really nice and you'll have to smooth it out with your hands a little bit if you prefer to do a handle that has a little bit of shape like this you'll need a separate piece of clay and you will need to make a coil a coil is like a worm or a snake so for that you'll get another piece of clay and you will have to roll it like this so you get a nice thin piece and it should be even. You shouldn't have like one little spot that's really lumpy like that. It should be really even. So I'm gonna get rid of that piece. I want it to be very straight, like a pencil is like a cylinder. And then you can make a handle that's shaped like this, or you can make a handle that's shaped like this. You can do any shape of a handle that you might like. You can use your imagination and do anything you like for your handle you can make it something like that you could make it something totally different you could flatten it and you could shape it into any kind of a shape that you might want you get to be completely creative and make the handle any way you want here's the only thing that you need to know about attaching your handle is you have to do the scratch and attach again with the slip so let me, I'm just gonna flatten this out and we're gonna attach a different handle on it. Okay, so what I'll do is scratch and attach. I'm going to use my pin tool again and scratch it. So this is called scoring the clay. So I made it really scratched. See how scratchy that looks? And now when I put my handle on, I'm gonna just dip my handle into the slip so that I've got a little bit of that pasty kind of stuff on it and I'm going to press it on like that. Okay, so I pressed it, use a little pressure. Now on the sides, you might see a little bit of the lines where you did the scoring. And if you see those, you need to erase them, smooth them out so that it looks really nicely finished. You don't want it to look rough, like you don't care about it. You want everyone who sees it to know that you took your time and you did some good work on this. That's called craftsmanship. So this has some nice craftsmanship if you take your time and you finish it really nicely. And then later, after this is dry and fired, you're going to get to glaze it, which means apply the color like this. Now, if you have time, you could use a tool and carve some designs into the surface of this. You might use the handle of your pin tool and you might make some little dots, but you have to be careful if you do that, not to poke all the way through the clay because you don't want to have holes in your bow. 
or you could make some lines in your clay. I wanna caution you about drawing lines on your clay because when you draw the line on the clay, sometimes you get these little jaggedy bits that stick out and then you'll have to rub those a little bit and try to get those off. So when you draw in your clay with your pin tool, you'll get some little crumbles that you'll have to work on. But you can, you can draw some nice designs on there, but you just have to be aware that you'll have some little bits that you have to clean up. Well, I hope you enjoy making your bell and I hope it lasts for many years and you get to enjoy it for a long time. Good luck.